of said that there's no way to make the Forerunner exhaust sound good, so just leave it stock. Uh, I'm no stranger to aftermarket exhaust. I've had aftermarket exhaust on every vehicle I've owned except for this Forerunner. had one particular brand and it's a very popular brand everyone knows it they make a system for the forerunner but i never cared for how it sounded uh so reached out to borla and they helped me out a little bit and here we go so we've got the full cat back system stainless cat back and uh we're gonna get it thrown on the forerunner right now but first things first let's uh let's do a startup with the stock exhaust everybody knows what they sound like but part of the reason this looks the video looks a little funny is because I'm using a different camera uh, because I want to try to capture the audio. So let's do that first and then we'll get this thing opened up and see what we've got going on. So, here's what we're working with. The Borla 140760 uh, for the forerunner of the cat back. So, let's just go ahead and get it out of the box and lay it out here so we can see what it looks like and get it installed because it shouldn't take very long. All right, not much to it. Forerunner exhaust is a uh, two pieces, and these are these are beautiful, full stainless. So the only hardware is this clamp, which connects the back of the muffler to the tailpipe, because this does replace everything. Uh, the bolts and everything here use the factory stuff that's in the rig. Did come with instructions. It's pretty self-explanatory, so there's no reason to keep talking about it. Let's get the factory stuff out and. Uh, this bolted in and I'm gonna switch cameras to something a little easier to take under the rig all right so we're under the rig just to give an idea there's the rear the front and then this is the connection up of the front right where we at here right here so two 14 millimeter bolts will remove the whole muffler section and then at the back of the muffler there's two 14 millimeter bolts to remove the tailpipe so we're going to go ahead and undo those and these rubber isolator bushings on the hangers can be a bit of a bear so i actually bought just one of these cheap tools got a leaf in there that's supposed to help that uh, get those undone real easy so let's get this exhaust out of here okay well that was a little bit more of a chore than i was expecting but old exhaust is out new exhaust is ready to go in um i will tell you if you're gonna do this yourself buy that rubber hanger tool that that worked like a charm um and then the bolts at the rear of the muffler that connect the tailpipe you're gonna have to get angry with a little bit um i had to do the half inch breaker bar 14 millimeter socket came off i mean there's room to get in there um, they're just you know they'll seize up a little bit um, but got them to come out and then learned drop your spare tire and there's a heat shield that's sitting right there that mounts up there that uh, two bolts takes it out and that that really hung things up because removing the rear portion of the tailpipe it's just like a puzzle um without dropping the tire and pulling that heat shield it was a pain once once i dropped the tire pulled that heat shield that came right out so now let's slide the new stuff in there get this bolted back up all right well there it is all installed Got everything all buttoned up. Everything's tightened up. Everything's in place. Every hanger is in place. So let's go to the back real quick. I'll show you what the, the tip portion looks like. It is a little different than the stock one. So full stainless tip. So without waiting around too much more, I know what we all care about is what it sounds like. So let's do that first cold start.
All right, just in case the audio didn't work on that camera, we're gonna do the old, uh, the old camera here. All right, guys. So right after you install the first camera audio, it captured it, but it's horrible. I, I don't know if the microphone just wasn't working or what have you. So what you just saw was the second camera with an external microphone, um, not the original camera. And then this morning, which today is Saturday, so it's two days later, which I only put 10 miles on it. Um, this morning or midday, uh, I went out and started it kind of a cold start so you could hear it uh, with the good working microphone and everything. And that's what you're going to see next. So kind of jumping around in the timeline a little bit, but wanted to give you an idea uh, of what it actually sounds. I'm trying to capture it a little better. So actually editing it, just got home. I'll throw that in here and then we'll talk about it some more. Definitely more volume. I want to go for a drive. Get everything picked up and uh, let's go for a drive. All right, so we're just going to drive around. I got the front and back windows halfway down like I normally do, and the back hatch window just cracked, I don't know, eight inches or so. This is normally how I drive when it's nice out, it's the windows down like this, so I'll just kind of listen to this exhaust here for a minute cruise around the block and I will say it's noticeable so far it's not obnoxious it's not overly loud and if you didn't know how quiet these were stock you may not think anything of it but it's mild it's just what I needed here because I'm in town plus I'm not sure the freeway speeds tell you much because all you hear is the wind this gives you an idea just driving around I'm kind of just focusing on the speedometer and whatnot so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on I'll turn around here and start heading back the other direction it's my big open lot that's normally well open it's full of cars there must be an event going on I'm gonna try to give it a little bit here before this next intersection Definitely smell the new metal burning. <laughs> Probably should have wiped it off, but I, it's all right. It's just stainless. We're gonna take it nice and tame for that guy right there. Okay.
gives you a taste of it anyways. It gives me a taste of it. Um, let's get back home and talk about it real quick before we end the video. All right, it's me from the future again. So, uh, again, Thursday, two days ago, got home, edited the video that night, and just wasn't happy uh, with the how the sound turned out, so waited to get the video out. So this morning after kind of doing that cold start, went and did a little more driving around um, to try to capture some more audio. So I'm gonna put that in right here um, so you can have a little better idea of what it sounds like and then we'll talk about it. guys so just out here trying to get some uh trying to get some better sound clips of this exhaust don't know how well it worked it's uh a tricky a tricky sound to capture so i apologize for any shakiness there's no image stabilization on this camera but we're just gonna putt around here to get out of this parking lot to see if it gives any idea what it sounds like in the rig So the sound clip you just heard, um, I'm happier with. Again, it's not an easy sound to capture, but those are pretty close. They're, they're as accurate as I've, I have gotten. So we're gonna throw those in there. Um, am I gonna tell you it's the perfect exhaust, perfect sound? No, because there's no such thing. Everybody's got a different opinion on what it should sound like. Even for me, there's times I'm gonna wish it was quieter, there's times I'm gonna wish it was louder, but uh, as far as options out there, what I could have expected, I couldn't have asked for more. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it's good. The fit and finish, outstanding. Uh, it's going to sound like a stupid complaint. The tip is both boring, but also fitting. <laughs> so you know, every time somebody thinks of a custom exhaust, I think of some kind of crazy tip. This really looked like a stock exhaust coming out the back for the most part. But that being said, I hope this just gives you an idea of what the Borla setup sounds like. Um, you knowing what I know now, hearing it with my own ears, if I had to do it again, would I do it? Yes. Um, I have not heard another forerunner that I think sounds better on the road. And I've talked to a lot of folks when I hear one with exhaust and ask them what they've got done to it, just to, whether I like it or not, to kind of have an idea of what they're doing or what they're using. Uh, so that being said, Borlife Type S, success. I'm happy with it. You know, going to run it for, I mean, I have no intentions of taking it off, but I'll, I'll try to update in months, you know, after hundreds of miles, what it sounds like if there's any change. Um, but so far, cruising around in it around town, I'm happy. I like it. It's, it's what I wanted. It's, 
enough to where I can hear the engine. I know that it's there and I can, I can hear what it's doing. Um, but it's not saying, Hey, look at me. I'm screaming around town. So that being said, uh, yeah, pretty stoked on it. Hope y'all enjoy the video and, uh, we'll get this one finished up and uploaded. So talk to you soon.